I thought it would be fun to show you guys what's inside my um, backup makeup drawer or things I guess that I have that I haven't opened yet but technically it's just like my backup makeup drawer. This drawer is actually located in the biggest original pink box uh, toolbox that I have so there's quite a bit of stuff in here so let's just get it rolling. I have a backup of the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca eyeshadow palette from holiday I think two years ago now. Um, amazing. As well as that one I have got a backup of this past year's holiday palette. Um, both palettes amazing quality and like you cannot beat the price on them and the amount of product that you get is outstanding. So I've got a second of the metal matte. And then um, recently I did get a backup of the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. This is Still currently one of my go-to's. I absolutely love this palette. I think at the moment it's out of stock. I'm not sure if they're going to come back into stock with it or not, but um, I did recently purchase the bundle of Colored Rain eyeshadows, and I mean all of their eyeshadows are absolutely outstanding. So I've got that guy. And then when Too Faced did their, um, they were trying to make up for all the sales problems they had with the relaunch of the Sweet Peach palette. I picked up two of them because they had a sale on them. I purchased one for my mom and then I was going to kind of compare um, to see if the newer one was the same quality as the older one, but I kind of didn't get around to it, but I do have this guy. And then I've got another Vizart Bijou Royale eyeshadow palette that came in a Beautylish uh, Lucky Bag that I purchased. And I also have a Vizart Bohem Dream. Him Dream eyeshadow palette. Um, this one here, I had already purchased it, and uh, Muse Beauty Pro ended up sending me one. Again, uh, Vizart is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow brands. And you can kind of see right over here, I do have a backup of my Dr. Dart Premium BB Beauty Balm SPF 45, which is awesome. I placed the order on the Wet n Wild website, and I wanted it to I wanted to get free shipping in over 30, so I picked up a few of a couple items. This is the highlighting gold bar and then some of the loose pigments which all of these are really pretty products so I got those guys. Um, there's a Vaseline lip therapy in here which I'm actually going to leave that out and give it away because I do not really use these anymore. And then I've got a Jouer Ice mini powder highlighter. I hauled this recently and I actually purchased two of them at the time. The highlighter is really pretty but the actual compact is it is mini for sure. I also recently hauled the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prismatic Amethyst. I purchased two of them. Um, I'm wearing this today, which <laughs> you can't see me, but <laughs> I am wearing it. Um, this is a really pretty highlighter. It's great for fair skins. And then I've got two eyeshadows from Color Rain here. They're both really dark shades. One's a sparkly black with a green undertone, and then one's a matte black. Um, they didn't fit in the palette that I got from Color Rain, and I don't really typically reach for you know, these eyeshadows, so I just left them out for now. I'll find them a home eventually, but they've just been in here. And then I've got some Physician Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc-Free Face Powders. This is um, one of my favorite setting powders for um, over BB cream. I've used it. Uh, I've used it on its own when I want a light coverage. It's just a really good all-around kind of... Uh, pressed powder and it's got an SPF of 16 which I absolutely love. Then I purchased off of a website called UNT, U -N -T, and um, my friend Sonia who lives in Paris introduced me to this brand and they actually make um, these powders over here which she had sent one to me and I really like it. The color's a little off so I do end up mixing it with a Jane Iredale loose powder that's lighter and it kind of comes out to be the um, correct tone for me. But it's by Unt Color Pure Radiance SPF 50 um, powder. I wish so bad that they made a little bit lighter, uh, cooler toned version. But mixing it, I, may, I can make it work. But um, it's a really good powder. It's one that I've found with a high SPF that I really like. So I've got, how many do I have of this? Because I, since it comes from overseas, I do buy it in bulk. And they actually have um, really good sales going on of this. What is this color? I have KO5 Porcelain, which is the lightest shade. I tried the 0, or 0, is it 10? K10, and it is definitely darker. I couldn't tell from the website, but I thought I'd give it a shot at once, but this is the lightest shade. Some items back here. This is a fairly medium original um, foundation from Bare Minerals that hasn't been opened, so it's in there. And then a Bare Minerals Clear Radiance Powder. Um, this is the original version of the powder, which is lighter. Um, 
than the more, the, or the newer version, I guess. The, the older version was my favorite, and then they kind of made it into a deeper pink, but um, I haven't opened this guy yet. And then I've got a M Pillow Plush Cushiony Lip Balm in Bubblegum, which I have two of these open. I, I love this product. I love the smell and the way it feels on the lips, and it gives a really pretty, uh, nice pink tint to it. So I have a backup of this guy. I have every shade in this lip balm, but it's in a drawer over there. And then these two products from Maybelline. This is a blush in Pink Weave, which I purchased too because I thought I was really going to love it. And I do like the color, but I don't use it as much as I thought I would. And then I've got this limited edition um, highlighter, which I did mention in my favorite highlighters video. Um, it's in Stage Glow. The, the one that I am using at the moment, or the one that it's in my highlighter drawer, is, I mean, it's hit pan. You can see the weave on the bottom of the, the baked dome, but I really love this product. And then if you watch my empties video, I did mention how much I love the original uh, Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette. My favorite is the Dolce de Leche version. These ones are all caramel toffee, and I love these ones as well. But the contour half in the Dolce de Leche is a beautiful bronzer on my skin tone, but I really like the original version of the... Um, contour palettes by Wet n Wild and the Caramel Toffee and Dolce de Leche and they've changed the colors and the formula and I don't think they're as good as these guys. Um, and then I've got my fave of faves. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon SPF 15 Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. I use this to set um, an SPF, a high SPF sunscreen, mineral sunscreen on my neck to hold it in place and then also it kind of ties in, you know, my face makeup with my neck so it doesn't look like you know, makeup on my face, nothing on my neck type of situation. It works really well for that. I've been using this for years. Over on the side here, I've got some more highlighters. One of the prettiest, cheapest highlighters I have come across is this Catrice Highlighting Powder. I've got one that's in use in my highlighting drawer, and um, I placed the order on Ulta, I think, at the time they were buying one, get one half off, but I went and purchased two more, and it's a really pretty shiny pink. I'm not sure if they have a couple other shades in this or not, but um, super affordable. I think these are like $4 or something like that, and it's a really pretty highlighter. And then this is a Victoria's Secret um, All or Nothing Illuminating Face Powder. I have one of these in my highlighting drawer. This is very similar to the Guerlain um, highlighter that came out. Geez, now the, the name has escaped me at the moment, but um, I have one that I'm using right now, and then my mom had purchased one at the same time, and she ended up giving this one to me, so I have it in my backup drawer. But this is one of the first products that kind of came out that had that uh, baked jelly type of a formula to it, and it's, it's a really stunning product. And then taking it back to the old school, I've got an Everyday Minerals Face Powder, and this is in Pearl Beige. Um, I used to use this uh, to highlight the top of my cheekbones. It was Back in the day, it was like a rare product to, to find a, a, a highlighter for my really fair skin to lift that cheekbone that was like lighter than my skin tone. So this was one that I did find, and I used it for a really long time. I have one still in my drawer, but um, I also had a backup that I never got to. But I, I actually went through, I think... Um, two prior to this. There's one in the drawer, so this might be the, the fourth one that I have that never got opened yet. So, Oh, and then this is the Jane Iredale. Sorry if I sound a little congested. I do have a cold. <laughs> um, but this is the Jane Iredale powder that I mix with the Oont powder, and I mix it um, about, I would say, a full one of these to half of this because this is actually pretty light. This is the Jane Iredale Powder Me SPF 30, and it's in the shade uh, translucent so I mix that with this oont powder and I love this for setting and this is what I will use um, continuously throughout the summer and I do use it sometimes um, all by itself on my face in these winter months as well because it does give a little bit of uh, coverage to the skin as well and then some more wet and wild products um, I actually had my boyfriend pick these up he was able to get to a Walgreens and uh, I told him to get me two of each because I thought I was really gonna love them and they're okay but they're not as good as I thought they were gonna be I also had to have a back up of the MAC uh, Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. The highlighter in here is, um, they're the Extra Dimension Skin Finish uh, Formula, but the highlighter in here is beautiful. Absolutely. So is the blush. The blush actually came out in the permanent, well, not the permanent, in the limited edition collection, Extra Dimension collection, um, a couple years ago, but it's also in there, and both of those are very, very pretty on uh, fair skin. And then there is one of the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palettes by Urban Decay. I ended up getting this, I think it was 50% off. And I thought, oh, I'm, uh, maybe I'll just pick that up. I was thinking about maybe giving this guy to my mom because I did actually get her the blush palette. Um, and then I've got another of the Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Collection face palette. Um, my boyfriend actually bought this uh, for me and recently 
limited edition is what they said at the time, but <laughs> they recently relaunched this again. But um, I do love all the products in here and the packaging is really pretty. And then I've got an Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Moonchild uh, Glow Kit backup. These are beautiful. These are all, for the most part, they're all fair skin friendly highlighter shades. And I love and was using the um, other one that I got so much and I wasn't sure if it was limited edition so I picked up another one. I've also got a backup of the Shantikai the Wild Horses eyeshadow palette. Um, it's not every day you come across makeup items with horses on it and I knew that I had to have one uh, to use and then one to like, I don't know, stare at I guess. <laughs> so I do have another one of those. I have the sleeve inside of the box because that paper over the top was rubbing off some of the uh, horse overspray in there. A huge portion of my life consists of horses and makeup so <laughs> I did have to have two of these. And then when I did a swap with my friend Sonia, again uh, she lives in Paris, she purchased um, or she swaps me one of these T. Leclerc uh, Paris 1881. This is the multi-use midnight powder. And she actually sent me a package later on, which I was just so grateful for. Because she sent this in the first package. And I loved it so much. Like, if you're not about glitter, you, you will not like this. But I don't mind glitter. It's a white baked domed powder with uh, tons of glitter running through it. It's really beautiful, but it's not going to be for everybody. But she ended up sending me... Um, another one because I love the first one so much and I believe it was a limited edition product. She also sent me, oh my gosh, bless her heart. She also sent me um, one of another Camellia de Plume, which I, I purchased two originally. I have one that I'm using in my highlighter drawer. I reach for this highlighter all the time. It's one of my favorite highlighters ever. And so I did have a backup of it, but I'm getting down to the wire. Well, I feel like I am anyway. I'm the one that I'm using and she she got me another one. So I've got two Camellia de Plume. I'll show you the beauty of this guy. Here she is unused in all her glory. One of the most beautiful highlighters that I have ever used. And then this is the Oont Color Miracle. This is a pressed powder from Oont. I wasn't as crazy about this one as I was the um, loose version. So I do have one that I'm, I'm kind of using and I kind of use it sometimes as touch up and stuff, but it's not my favorite. Um, I like the loose version of this a lot better. And then I've got two Too Faced uh, Candlelight Glows. These were either point perks or came in um, some type of a little set that I had got from Too Faced, but I have this in the full sized. And then there is another Dr. Jart BB cream. This one came in a set, so it's not in a box. And I'm about to break this one out because I think I'm almost out of my other uh, tube of it. And then over here on the left, there are a bunch of the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powders. Um, there's not a lot of product in here, and I was I was using it for underneath my eyes and kind of around my nose and T-zone area because it kind of gives a little bit of a highlighting effect, so I was going through these little guys quite... Um, frequently and when ELF did a 50% off their entire website it kind of stocked up and there were a few more but I took an empty container I think it was an oomph powder actually uh, container and I opened up a whole bunch of them and dumped the powder in there and I, ha I have got that larger jar with this product in my drawer with my concealers so that's what all of these little boxes over here are and then I've got two of the Inglot Duralines I really love this product to mix with gel eyeliners and also like cake liners it's a really good versatile product and it was hard to get a hold of um, a few times it kept going out of stock so when it finally was in stock I stocked up. <laughs> away over here in the back there are some House of Lashes Iconic Minis. I love these eyelashes. I recently placed an order when they did a sale over um, the holiday weekend this a week ago um, for the lights. They've got the iconic light version so they're, they'll be like a little bit lighter version of the Iconics. So anyway, there's a couple pairs of those in there. Over in the corner here I do have some duo uh, lash adhesives. That This is my favorite uh, glue to put eyelashes on with. So I've got uh, two of those guys. And then over here there is a, these are old you guys. This is a Too Faced um, Afterglow and this is in the shade Betrayal. This is really old. I've got another version of this that's, that's in one of my other drawers. And it's the prettiest um, baby pink with the sparkle in it. It's so beautiful. Like, yeah, anyway, this is a little bit pinker version. I actually have two of these guys, and this is a backup of the first one. This one's more pink than the other one, but these are some old school uh, products that are really beautiful. I kind of wish that 
Too Faced would get back to that. But anyway, um, and then this one is a Splash Cosmetics. Um, I purchased this way back in the day, and it was a beautiful baby pink with a high shine to it. And I used the, the, um, the original one, the one that I have in my drawer still, uh, and I loved it so much I thought that I should have another one, and it's in Twinkle Stars, and I believe that you can't get this anymore. You kind of can't see underneath this lip here, but um, there are also two Clinique Quick Liner for Lips in Sky Violet, which is one of my all-time favorite lip liners. I love it. Oh, wait, let's take that back. There's three of them in there. <laughs> then there are, what are these guys? Two Tarte um smooth operators these i think these came with um when you buy off the tart website you can choose to get, get a sample product and then maybe in a a set or however they do it i ended up with two of them but and then there's also a urban decay gwen stefani bathwater blonde eyebrow kit this was i think i got it for 15 bucks it went again 50 50 percent off on Sephora and then at the time I think the uh, VIB sale was going on so I got it pretty cheap and I was using the first one I got quite a bit there until I got the Dior and then here's a Paula's Choice uh, little eyeshadow palette it was free with an order over X amount of dollars I can't remember but I do purchase products off the the website and so I got one of these I have one in my other collection but I mean, I think I, I must have obviously placed two orders at the time where they did the promo again. I can't remember, but I ended up with two of them, and I'll probably end up uh, giving that away. My mom already has this one, too, because she placed the order with Paula's Choice at the time. A Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara in here, full size. This came in the Kat Von D and Too Faced collab set. I haven't opened it. And then I've got, what is this guy? A MAC lipstick in Courting Seduction. Um, I think this is a really light purple pink. Yep. And then there is a backup of the Guerlain Meteorites. This is the version that came out holiday of 2015. Yeah. Such a beauty. I use this quite often as well. And then I was using this mascara a ton, and I still really like it. This is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. CoverGirl mascaras are actually my my favorite mascaras, I guess you could say. Probably high-end and drugstore CoverGirls make some of my favorite mascaras, as you can see. There's a Lash Blast Volume. And then I just broke up in the backup I had of my favorite CoverGirl mascara that comes in, like, the turquoise tube. But um, here is an Essence Mascara. This is a waterproof one, and I'm not... Um, all about the waterproof because it's really hard to get off <laughs> um, but my friend Sonia sent me this one um, when we did our swap and then I've got a backup of the NYX matte liquid eyeliner I actually have got two backups of those I like to purchase these when they're buy one get one free or 50% off at Ulta and actually right now they are buy one get one free on the Ulta website uh, this one came in a gift with purchase with Lancome. This is the Hypnos Drama Mascara. This is a nice mascara, not my favorite, but it is nice, so it hasn't been opened, so I keep it in here. An eyeliner that I used to use a ton, um, is the Stiletto by Maybelline. This is in Black is Black. I still like it. Um, I do wish a little more product came out. It's a felt tip, though, so it doesn't absorb quite as much as a brush. But I still like that, um, eyeliner. And then what do we got here? This is a Chanel, La Volume de Chanel. I got this with, um, it was buy two, get one free mascaras when Nordstrom does their mascara sale. Just go through this whole basket here. Um, two Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. I believe these came in Tarte sets. Uh, a clear brow gel that Sonia sent me again. Um, a Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. That came in a set. Lancome Primer. This is the C, Bo C Booster XL. Um, this came in a set. This is a backup of, I haven't opened this, but I really like this one. It's a blue mascara. It's really pretty on the, the upper lashes. And then a mini Too Faced Better Than Sex that came in a set. Um, this flower mascara, which came in this, these all, I think these all almost came in sets. The Lights Camera Flashes, another Lights Camera Lashes. Um, this guy is quite old. I haven't opened it though, so it's still probably, you know, good. It's one of the um, Lancome long wear lacquers. This is in electric pink. And then I've got two Ulta brow tints. I like to buy those when they're doing a buy one get one free as well. And then a Cargo HD lip primer that I'm going to set aside because I don't think I'll even ever use that. And it hasn't been opened. A mini They're Real and a random new tweezer. Moving over to the side here, I do have um, three of the Dior Skin Nude Air Glowing Garden 001 Glowing Pink Highlighters. 
they recently came out with this in the permanent line. Um, the embossing pattern on this one is prettier. <laughs> However, it is the exact same product that has come out in the permanent uh, Dior Skin Nude Highlighter Collection. I believe there's four shades currently. Um, and, and the new one is 002. It's the light pinky shade. And then the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I love, I actually really love this eyeliner. It's just the staying power that I don't like. And I have really watery eyes, so it it's really easy to smudge but the amount of product and the it's matte and the fluidity of the actual eyeliner is really nice and I do like the brush on this it's just I wish it wore a little bit longer here's a hard candy fiberized brow gel um, brow highlighter um, this end has got a ton of fibers in it like this it has more than the uh, benefit uh, gimme brow it's probably one of the highest fibered brow like mascaras that I've ever tried, this little hard candy one. And then moving on over here, I have got two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminators in Starlight. I did not know she stopped making this. Um, I, I was watching a video and somebody had mentioned it and I was like, what? I thought that she, because she still makes the highlighters, she just doesn't make this Starlight shade, which is beautiful. I've hit pan on the one that I'm using currently, so I'm really happy that I, at the time, I purchased two of the or two backups of the Starlight. So, And then I've got a backup of the Chanel Pearls et Fantasy Illuminating Powder. This guy here is really... It's, you have to kind of pack it on, and once you pack it on, it's really beautiful. It was a little bit of a product that I was like, man, I thought it was going to be a lot better than it, you know, it actually was. But it still is really pretty. I mean, I do have to pack it on, though, but at the time, I thought it was going to go fast, and I thought I was going to just absolutely love it, so I ended up buying two. And then at one time, I thought that they were going to discontinue the NARS New Order Highlighting Blush Powder. Um, I love this blush. It's a... A really beautiful baby pink purple with tons of sparkle in it and I've actually hit pan on the one that I have in my blush drawer but I can't remember what prompted me to think that they were going to discontinue this but I was like I need to have a backup because I hit pan and I, I really love this blush then there are two of the Clinique water resistant eyeliners um, there's natural black and muted brown and these all you have to do is add water to them and I like being able to create the consistency of my eyeliners making it really fluid and stuff and I was using these for a really long time both of them dry really um, matte um, but they don't they're not super harsh so if you're looking for something a little bit more natural like as an eyeliner and you like to mix your products um, these are some good ones. And then over here I've got some Laura Geller uh, Balance and Brighten Foundations. One in Fair and then one in Porcelain. I actually mix Fair and Porcelain in my face. I use this one kind of in the center highlighting points and then this one on the rest of my face. I always kind of have this product on hand. And then there is one in Fair over here. And I like to purchase these when they're on Hot Look. Two products by YSL. This is the Flower Crush Palette. Let me show you. The packaging on this was some of the prettiest packaging. I mean, is that not to die for? And then the actual product inside is really pretty as well. You do have to pack this kind of on as a for a blush on fair skin. Uh, deeper skin tones, I'm not sure how it would show up. I know some people really liked it, some people didn't. And then this one is the Parisian Night Rue de Babylone uh, Radiant Blush, also by YSL. Again, packaging super cute, but I had to have a backup of this. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. It's the most beautiful light pink shade. Um, there's, you know, the, the center shade's got some sheen to it, and then the outer perimeter is more like a satin. But um, again, one of my favorite blushes ever, and I had to have a backup because it was a limited edition uh, blush. If you didn't think I was crazy enough already, <laughs> um, here are some Burberry products. I have got four of the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Highlighting Powders in Nude Radiance 01. Um, they discontinued this. I was so sad. <laughs> but um, recently, they've been really up in the highlighter game for fair skin tones that are light. And you put them on the top of your cheekbones and it gives a lift. Um, again, a couple years ago, those type of products weren't very easy to find. But this product here is a, it's still one of my favorite highlighters ever. Let me see if I can open it. But... Um, it doesn't look like a lot in the pan there, and it's not one of those highlighters. It's like your your baked gelé where it's like boom in your face, but it's it's just beautiful. It's a really beautiful highlighter for fair skin tones, and they did make this fresh glow um, highlighter shade in a, a medium deeper tone as well. But again, they no longer make this product, and I. I stocked up. <laughs> and then the spring-summer 2016 Burberry 
uh, runway palette which is a highlighter that came out with two shades um, the white one love it this is a baked jelly type of formula and it is a really um, shiny in your face type of a highlighter it's beautiful I've been wearing I've actually been wearing this one this past week quite a bit the one that I have in my highlighter drawer but I had to have um, some backups of this guy and then over here some Chanel products I've got two <laughs> I've got two of the one and only infamous uh, Chanel notorious uh, sculpting veil for eyes and cheeks this here out of all the contouring products that have come out recently and whenever this still remains my absolute favorite product to contour with it's it looks scary when you look at it like that and I'm not gonna swatch it because this is brand new <laughs> but this product is one of the only products I've come across that actually gives um, a natural looking shadow to the face where you put it like it actually looks like that's a shadow on your face and then a couple years ago Chanel came out with this white baked uh, it's a high it's a highlighting product I think it's called a blush on here though but it's a it's one of their blush formulas but it's a sparkly white shade and I loved it as a highlighter so I did purchase a backup of it um I, I, don't, I don't use it as much as I thought I was gonna use this one but then going to the way back here I did purchase a backup of the Bobbi Brown uh, pink glow highlighter um, I think that she's come out with these a couple times and might actually have some in a permanent line I'm not sure but um, they were supposedly limited edition and I really did like uh, this highlighter when I used it and then when I started to really use the highlighter the white portion started to turn more into the pink portion and it got a little bit deeper on me got a whole bunch of the elf um, blotting sheets right here I have these in my bag I have these all over the place and then there's a random pack of mascara spoolies in here I actually like to use these to get cat hair off my face if you've ever been trying to pick a piece of cat hair off your face and you just can't seem to grab it these do a lot better job and then you don't like mess up your makeup <laughs> tell me if you relate <laughs> back in the corner there is an elf body glow I used to use this I still use this every once in a while more so in the summer kind of on my my uh my collarbone and then I can also use it on my neck if I make my face a little bit darker than the wet n wild powder kind of gives my neck so everything kind of matches up in terms of tone and then I've got a whole bunch of the elf tone correcting powders again I purchased these with 50% off the website they're a dollar fifty <laughs> you really can't beat it but I love this um, to take away shine to do a little bit of touching up I used to use it um, every single day to set my concealer every once in a while I still grab for it and I do have one in my concealer drawer and because I use it every now and again um, and it's also really good for shine it doesn't you can kind of continually use it and it doesn't ever really build up which is awesome and it also gives kind of a brightening effect uh, to the skin and so I carry one of these I think I've got one in like all of my handbags and I've got one in my collection they're just kind of everywhere and they're so inexpensive and then lastly in the back here these are very little coveted items for me um i was so in love with my kat von d palettes um that when she was doing them in this style packaging um i'd always purchase a second one so that i had two and then the ludwig and beethoven palettes they actually went on sale because and then i knew they were discontinuing them so i got them at uh, my local sephora jc penny's um reduced uh, price so I have backups of Ludwig oops, Ludwig and Beethoven and then I had two more but I actually sent Sonia one of the Ludwig and Beethoven palettes in her swap and she was really happy about that because she was never able to get some of the older Kat Von D palettes but um, these ones are unboxed I can't remember why but this one is true love um, they some of these do have cream shadows in them uh, that was the bad thing about some of these palettes is the cream shadows were not good but isn't that beautiful and then I love the packaging and she did it like this and then this is one of my favorite palettes ever this is the gypsy palette um, yep and let's open her up there's one cream eyeshadow again it's it's done dried up by now but um I just love this palette I use it a lot I've got one up there I used to use it so so much and then here is the back above the ladybird palette this was the metal orchestra palette again the the boxes mock the actual packaging inside too but and then this guy here is the Angelus eyeshadow palette and the memento mori and this one, this one had two or three cream eyeshadows in it, which was I I wasn't happy about that. But the powder eyeshadows were amazing. Um, Love and Fury, 
And then this one right here was the Truth palette. And I believe I've got uh, one backup of all of the original Kat Von D eyeshadow palettes that had come out. Love Kat Von D. I love her new products too, but there's something that really gives me the feels um, about her original old school stuff that she was doing right off, like when she first started her collection. It just, it just does something for me. I, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I don't know, found it helpful or entertaining or fun or something, kind of a few items take a trip down memory lane. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching. Uh, do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.